This is going to be a quick video on how to export Gerber files from Altian Circuit Maker. So over here I have a board that I've designed and I want to get it manufactured. So to do that I'm going to want to export my Gerber files and my NC drill files from Circuit Maker. Let's get into that. Okay so first of all I'm going to assume that you've already verified your design, you've run your design rule checks and you're confident that there aren't any mistakes. First thing we need to do is we come up to this project tab up here. Once we've got our design open, we're going to come up to project and we're going to click generate outputs. All right, LTM is going to give us a whole bunch of annoying warnings and things that we need to save. We just have to go through them. Okay, so first of all, we need to save the project. Yep. Next, we need to commit the project. So we click yes here. Too easy. Uh, add a comment if you want and click OK. OK, so here we see the generate output files dialog. Uh, we want to export Gerber files and NC drill files, so we're just going to click the checkboxes next to them here and here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to configure what we want outputted from our Gerber files. So we click configure. So here we have a window that's very similar to the one from LTM Designer. If you're familiar with that, then you'll probably be right at home here. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and choose inches as the units. We'll choose 2 is to 4 format. If we come over to the layers tab, we're then going to choose all of the layers that we want to plot. Those are going to be the top overlay, top solder layer, top copper layer, bottom layer, bottom solder layer, bottom overlay. Uh, and if you want your two paste layers, add those in as well. If you wanted to um, get your boards manufactured and you need a solder paste stencil. Uh, also, you're going to want your outline layer. So for this board, it's defined on the keep out layer, but perhaps you had that defined on a mechanical layer. So just select whichever layer you've got your outline defined on. Next, we're going to jump over to apertures. So here we just want to ensure that uh, embedded apertures, apertures is enabled. That's all. And lastly, we jump over to advanced. And on this one, we want to ensure that we've got keep leading and trailing zeros clicked and just set everything else up the same way I've got it here. Okay, so we just click OK to accept that. Next, we're going to configure our NC drill file settings. So we click the configure link here next to NC drill files. This will open up another dialog. Uh, here, what we want is uh, units of inches. We want two is to four format again, or choose the same as what you chose for uh, the Gerber files. Here again we want to click keep leading and trailing zeros and everything else just set up the same as I've got here. Okay, so now we've set everything up the way we want it uh, and to export our files all we need to do is click this generate button. And when it's done, it might take a little while but there we go, uh, we'll get a save as um, dialog box showing up and we can just save the zip file that will contain the output files that it's generated for us. So we pick a folder, click save, and that's done. And here's the file that we generated. Um, I've just extracted it to a folder here, and we can see what, what's inside. So we've just got two folders inside, one called Gerber, one called NC Drill, and inside those are the actual um, files that we've generated. So this is our NC Drill file. I'm going to move that over to the Gerber folder and then I'm going to select the files that we actually want which is one bottom layer, bottom overlay, bottom paste, bottom solder, keep out, top layer, top overlay, top paste, top solder and that one okay so then we're going to add those to a zip great so added all those to a single zip which is a good idea um, if you're going to send this file to a manufacturer. That's a much more useful format to keep it in than this proprietary format that uh, Circuit Maker has outputted it as. Now, if you are getting your printed circuit board made, then I recommend taking a quick look at breadboardkiller.com. You can take that zip file that you made. If you've got an account, you log in, click Upload PCB, you just take the zip that we've just created and drag and drop it onto that page. And there you go. 
we're all done. It will generate renderings for you. It'll match up the layers and in a few more clicks, you can have your board sent out to you. So I hope some of you have found this useful and that we've demystified the process behind generating outputs from CircuitMaker a little bit. All right, thanks for watching.